Uber drivers are gaming the system to increase surge. A former Uber employee offers tips on what you should do to get the best out of your driving, and an Uber driver logs a 1,500-mile trip. Hey, it's Cecily, and this is This Week in Rideshare News. My first story today is about a group of Uber and Lyft drivers in Virginia that have found a way to game the system and increase surge. Drivers at Reagan Airport have figured out a way, synchronized turning their apps on and off, to increase the surge. They say at any given point, over 100 or so drivers are waiting, but no one is being picked up. Driving surge up. <laughs> and many believe it's in reaction to the fact that many drivers feel like they're not getting paid enough to do this kind of work. In response, both Lyft and Uber say that this is against community guidelines Lines and that drivers could be deactivated for this. The thing that intrigues me is that all of these drivers are acting in unison. Like, how did they all get on the same page? From driving here in Los Angeles, I feel like many drivers are really out for self. I mean, as you should be as an independent contractor, you know what it takes for you to make the money that you need to make the whole thing work. However, there's something to be said about this group of drivers that are not only looking out for themselves, they're looking out for each other because it doesn't work unless everyone turns their app on and off. What are your thoughts about what the drivers are doing in Virginia? Let me know in the comments and the link is in the description. A former Uber employee takes to Reddit to answer questions about driving for Uber. He was on the Uber driver team and he said he was excited about making changes and introducing features to help the driver. He said after a while, it was clear that that was pretty much BS. And here he offers, I used to work for Uber on the driver team. My role was focused on driver success, ask me anything. And tons of people responded. There are over 200 plus comments and he pretty much spilled the tea on what it was like working on the driver team and the best advice for drivers to succeed while driving for Uber. While he offers a whole bunch of tips and he answers questions, I want to call out a few things that he mentioned to be uh, tips for driving. Um, he said, focus on your driving time to areas and times that are more likely to be busy. Downtown, areas with lots of bars on Friday and Saturday nights. Track your miles and expenses. It's a pain in the but there are apps that can help and it's the best way to keep the money that you make. Make sure to use all your destination trips. Those are one of the few features designed to help you. Check your settings after every app update. I agree with this one. Make sure you opt out of Eats and other low value trips. Now, um, hmm, I'm curious about what he means by low value trips. Things that you can opt out of. I probably, my mind immediately went to uh, pool, but we can't really opt out of those. And as far as Eats go, here in Los Angeles, I've been able to make a decent amount of money by doing Eats versus UberX. Like, I was able to hit my goals doing Eats. So I think that right there, you should look at that in respect to where you are in your area and how popular Eats is. But yeah, there's tons and tons and tons of comments here. People asked some questions. This was posted six days ago. Um, I don't know if he's still responding, but maybe if you guys have a question for him, you guys can ask him. But definitely check the link out, peruse it. Uh, there's a lot of good information. Um, I think a lot of times we operate from the place of we don't know what they're thinking, but here's an inside view as to what someone was thinking, someone who had experience inside of Uber HQ. The Business Insider must love Uber and Lyft drivers because they always provide really good positive coverage for us. So if you're looking for something to read that talk, you know, that speaks well about Uber and Lyft drivers, check them out. But last week they had a list of things that riders should never do when taking rideshare. So I'm going to go into the list right now. Don't eat or at least ask first. Other smells have consequences too, like cigars, marijuana, cigarettes. Like, just don't. Don't do it. Don't ignore your driver. You're going to get in someone's car and you're not going to say hi or at least be pleasant. Bad for business, weird, creepy, and just an asshole move. Don't slam the door. Don't slam the door. Just don't slam the door. It's possible for you to not slam the door. Don't do it. Don't call your kids a ride. It's not safe. It's not cool. And you should, you should care more about your kids than to put them with strangers. Please bring your own car seat. I don't, I have a car seat, but it's for my son because he rides in my car. You can't expect drivers to have car seats and I would not trust that. Don't flirt with your driver, be it man or woman. It's weird, it's creepy and nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that kind of attention when you're working, especially in close quarters. Don't be late, don't be late. 
don't be late. Do you guys have any additional things to add to this list? Let me know in the comments. For our final story, we've got a what would you do in this situation. Now, the Miami Times reported an Uber driver having the longest ride, at least as far as he's concerned, in history. From Boston to Miami, over 1,500 miles for a couple that was trying to visit their dying mom. The driver said he received a call from a couple. He said upon sight, they looked kind of haggard, looked like they didn't have that much money, but requesting an Uber to Miami. He said, what about the airport? I could take you to the airport, maybe the bus. And he said that the woman was like, oh no, <laughs> I, I can't do that. And so he agreed to take them. They had iPads and they had like um, bags. And he said that he drove all the way through. He said that there were a few stops that they made. And for the most part, the couple was quiet. They were listening to their headphones and that he in turn was listening to audiobooks and that the ride was pretty pleasant. By the time he got there, he said they got out the car and they were like, and they even sent him a thank you. Um, in his mind, he believes that he actually carried drugs across state lines. He believes that with the look of the people and just the story not adding up, probably transported some sort of marijuana or whatever across state lines. My question to you is not really about the drug part of it because we don't know if they had drugs or not. But my question is to you, if you received a call from a couple who said they needed to go across state lines to go and visit their dying mother or relative, would you say yes or no? Now, he makes a point to describe how they were dressed, and he said that they looked poor. The ride itself cost $2,283.93. That is what he got. That's not even what Uber got. Now, we don't know what Uber received, but you can imagine. It's a lot of money to go from Boston to Miami. And for two people, you still could ride first class and still not spend that amount of money. So what are your thoughts on this? And what is the longest ride you've ever done? My longest ride was from Santa Monica to Santa Barbara. It was about an hour and 40 minutes. The place in Santa Barbara, I feel comfortable driving to. The person seemed to be okay, and it wasn't a bad ride. Um, I've been approached to drive from here to Vegas, stuff like that, and I said, no, absolutely not. Let me know what you would do in this case. And as always, if you like this video and the content that I've discussed today, give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any tips, any news, or anything like that that I could talk about, please send that to me here. Um, if you're not subscribed to Harry's channel, The Right Shirt Guy, please subscribe. There's a lot of great information here for you. And if you're curious about who I am and what I do, again, my name is Cecily, and I have a channel called Drive Girl Drive that will be in the description as well. And as always, please have a wonderful weekend and safe driving. Take care. Bye.